सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुली बिफोर वी बिगेन आई वु लाइक टू मेक एन अपील टू यू फॉर दोज हुई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू टेक द प्रिंस यूट्यूब मेंबरशिप विच ओनली कॉस्ट रुपीज वन फिफ्टी नाइन पर मंथ click on the join button to enjoy exclusive member benefits including loyalty batches priority responses and members only videos we are now also extending newsletters to our youtube members for this i request you all that is a youtube members to write to us with a full name and email address at the members at the print dot in and we will get back well a lot has happened in the defense arena over the last 12 months and the year 2022 will go down in the history as a turning point for the indian military this is because india introduced the agnipath scheme which overthrows the earlier process of recruitment into the military it is also a year which now allows women into other ranks in all streams of the navy and the air force including the combat part while 2022 will be remembered for the agnipath the fallout of which will only be understood a few years down the lane The year also witnessed some major inductions by the Indian military which gives it the extra offensive and defense capability. The print takes a look at four major inductions of 2022. INS Vikrant meant to be a floating airfield armed to the teeth with its own battle group. INS Vikrant was commissioned in the Indian Navy this year culminating a 13 year old long journey. This is a big achievement for India since it now joins a select group of countries capable of making an aircraft carrier of its own with a displacement of 42800 tons Vikrant which means victorious and gallant is the largest ship ever designed and built in India work on this project had started in 1999 it is powered by four 22 megawatt gas turbine engines and INS Vikrant has a range of 7500 nautical miles which is approximately about 13900 kilometers which translates into a maritime journey from india to brazil in one go without the need to stop for refueling the ship has a height of 61.6 meters that is from the keel to the pole mast which is as tall as 14 floors and the flying deck is about 12500 square meter roughly the size of two and a half hockey field or 10 olympic size swimming pools Fun fact also includes that the cabling on board the ship which is about 600 km long and the power generated by the vessel can actually light up a small town. The navy is in the process of acquiring new fighter jets for its aircraft carrier fleet and the Rafale Marine that is a Rafale M has emerged as the front runner. The next big induction was that of the LCH Prachand. Another big induction was that of the first batch of the indigenous light combat helicopters that is LCH named LCH Prachand 23 years after it was envisaged manufactured by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited that is HAL its induction marks the culmination of a process that began at the end of the 1999 Kargil conflict LCH is the first and only attack helicopter to land in forward bases at Siachen 4700 meters above sea level with a 500 kg load seen as a force multiplier the lch a 5.5 ton class helicopter is powered by two shakti engines and is meant to be equipped with 20 mm turret guns 70 mm rocket systems and the mistral 2 air to air missiles With a top speed of 330 km per hour the LCH Prachand's induction is another significant moment for India's indigenous military manufacturing even though they have been inducted the Prachands lack the main arsenal and protection suites for now and will take time to be fully operational the attack helicopter also known as a tank buster will get its anti tank guided missile that is ATGM only by mid 2023 and while it is integrated with air to air missile launchers the missiles for the same has not been ordered yet The ATGM intended to be integrated with the Prachand is the indigenous Helena whose air force version is called Dhruvastra. Work is still in progress and weapon systems will be integrated only in 2023 along with the self protection suites. It is estimated that the army will go in for nearly 90 of them for its aviation arm to support ground operations while the air force will have a little less. 
2022 also marked the laying of the foundation stone of the C-295 transport aircraft manufacturing facility, the country's first in the private sector in Vadodara, that is in Gujarat. The facility will manufacture C-295 aircraft for the Indian Air Force through collaboration between Tata Advanced Systems Limited and the Airbus Defence and Space of Spain. The C-295 is a 5 to ton capacity aircraft and will replace the IF's aging fleet of the British-made Avro transport aircraft that first flew in 1961. 16 of these aircraft will arrive from the Airbus facility in Spain in flyaway conditions between 23rd September 2023 and August 2025 and the other 40 will be built in India by a consortium of Tata Advanced Systems Limited and Tata Consultancy Services. The first Made in India C-295 will be rolled out in 2026 and the entire order is slated to be completed by 2031 at the rate of 8 aircraft per year. Another key development has been the induction of the BrahMos supersonic missiles with enhanced range. It was in May this year that India successfully fired the extended range of the BrahMos air-launched missile from the Su-30 MKI fighter aircraft. The missile had achieved a direct hit on the designated target in the Bay of Bengal region. Since then, the existing BrahMos, which had a range of 290 kilometers, have been tweaked to have a longer range. The land-launched BrahMos has a range of about 400 kilometers, and the work is also on to increase its range to 800 and 1,500 kilometers. IF currently has 40 Su-30 MKI with BrahMos, the only supersonic cruise missile in the world. The plan is to integrate more Sukhois with the BrahMos missile. The missiles are manufactured in India under a joint venture that was formed in 1998 between India and Russia. The name BrahMos actually comes from the name of two rivers, India's Brahmaputra and Russia's Moskva. The missile has a maximum speed of 2.8 Mach. This is around 3,400 km per hour and is difficult to intercept by surface-to-air missiles currently deployed from warships across the world. It also has an immense ability to evade radars. The missile's cruising altitude can be up to 15 kilometers and the lowest it can fly 10 meters above the surface, that is skimming the surface level and is capable of carrying a conventional warhead weighing 200 to 300 kg. For the print, this is Snehesh Alex Philip. Do subscribe to our Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.